After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen, and it's consistently increasing every single day. But before we begin, I am very happy to present today's sponsor, which is Displate. Displate is the 21st century's way to put art on your wall. Displate is a metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. Whether you like movies, animals, or landscapes, there will be a unique design just for you. Mounting a displate on a wall is easy, no tools are required. You just put the sticker on the wall, then you place the magnet on the sticker, and it's done. I got a few displates myself, I got a lion, I got a mountain, and I got the runescape map as well. And for every displate sold, one tree is planted in Africa. And if you purchase displate this week, you get 27% discount if you buy one or two. And to make it even crazier, you get 37% discount if you buy three or more displates. And the discount is automatically applied if you use my link in the description down below. Today is the day we are finally getting ourselves combat on the Hardcore Iron Man. And we're doing some last minute things here, such as getting 40% Chazian favor from Corrent. We made some GP by collecting Dragon Implings, Magpie Implings, and Ninja Implings, and selling it to the artist store. I also got 60 Thieving for the obvious reason. 56 Agility, which I will tell you about very, very soon. And of course I had to complete Shades of Morton for the Mauritania questline. However, here comes the controversial part. I had to build the temple in a non-PVP world because I couldn't get it to work using multiple accounts. So this was my first exception of going to a non-PVP world. You may cancel me if you want to. So now that I have achieved 56 agility, I have unlocked my training locations for the next few days, weeks, months depending on when someone finds me and scouts me. And that location is going to be right outside here in this manhole right here. Welcome to the Grim Tales manhole. This will be my home for the next couple of days, weeks, maybe even months. And the requirement to get here is 45 farming, 52 herb lore, 58 thieving and 59 agility. This means all the new PKs who have made a build to hunt me, surely they have not been skilling enough to get these requirements. So I believe I will be safe here for a very long time. Alright, it's time to gain that combat level. We start at 14 magic, 12 range and 23 combat. And we're gonna camp here for a bit. My goal is to get 40 magic for the teleporter house. 15 magic, 16 magic, 17 magic, 18 magic. The levels just keep coming in, 24 magic. Man, we are 28 combat now. <laughs> People can now tell block me. Well, they could three levels ago, but still. All right, big level coming up, 25 magic. We can now use the Veroth teleport. All right, this is one of the better drops. Mystic Earth Staff. We can high alk it for 25k, but I can only low a high alk right now for 16k. So that's really good drop. 31 magic. We can now save teleport ourselves to Lumbridge and we can make Lumbridge tablets now. So we don't have to have all these things in our inventory anymore. All right, that's where we're stopping. 41 magic. We can now cast Wind Blast and House Teleport, which we're gonna do. And uh, we're gonna collect all the Shrank Ogla Roots. Um, and we're done with magic for now. Another thing we can do now, uh, we can make dual rings. Very, very nice. Hey, 1000 total level. That was quick. 20 range, that's an upgrade. Look at that. We got tank shafts and a new bow. There we go, 25 range. That's all we need for the quest. Underground pass. I feel like I wanna do this quest before people know I'm, I've leveled combat. Because if I get tail blocked here, you know, I'm screwed. All right, please don't fail this. Please, Jagex.
And there we go. The underground paths have been completed. And we start registered straight away. All right, Gourmet, I need some food. Thank you. We are about to hit that six hour log and we are almost done with the ridge side quest. Perfectly timed in my opinion. Great. Now all the hunters are gonna know I have 35 combat. They're gonna know that I can get tell blocked by their accounts now. It's gonna get a lot scarier from now on moving forward. About to hit. There we go. Six hour log. Come on. Are we done? There we go. Regicide have been completed. Beautiful. I think I'm done for today. Whew, that was a nice six hour log plus seven minutes extra. Wow. Nice. Good grind, Tom. Good grind. It is time for me to reveal why I got 40% Shazian favor in the beginning of this episode. I got it for a simple reason to do tackled organized crimes in Shazian. By killing gang members in this minigame, you have a chance of getting intelligence. This intelligence can you trade over for a book which gives you experience, which I can put on hit points. This account has a volatile staff as a level 50. He can hit twice my HP, what is this? One thing that's great for me is the fact that these gang members in some occasions spawn in a safe zone. So I can safely do this training method. Who is this? How did he found, find me? I just logged in. We're gonna get four to seven hit points and plenty of more experience. Beautiful. We got the combat level as well. 38 combat. Right, it is time for Demon Slay. We're gonna do it in a free to play world. Let's go. This is the place where I'm gonna be at. Demon Slayer instance. This means I can kill these dark wizards without having to worry about anyone showing up. Look, it's an instance, no one can show up here. Look, we drop chaos runes, nice. Oh, they don't respawn, wait, what? Yep, the dark wizards in the demon slayer instance, they don't respawn, meaning this training method wasn't valid. We now have 28 range, we can use the Dorgishan bow. Beautiful. It is time for me to unlock another area, can you predict where I'm going? The nature spirit completed for 13 defense, we're now 41 combat. Alright, it's time for a scary quest, we need to bring all these items to Morton. So I only have 8 food inventories, oh my god. And there we go, in search of Merc completed, I thought it would be scary, but it wasn't. 15 defense, 9 strength, 41 combat still. You see that? Now that we have completed In Search of Merrick, we can enter Berg the Rot. Berg the Rot, such a huge place which one defense purers can't access to. I think there's some good fishing spots here. Yeah, you can fish sharks here. I don't have the level though, but we got an anvil as well. I would call this anvil pretty safe from purers. No purers can access here. Hey, I think I've unlocked this bank now. Oh, that's beautiful. We have a bank here in Berg the Rot. Really nice unlock. So yeah, in the middle of In Aid of Merrick, I got scouted, so I'm taking a few hours break here. The hunters hate this place. A safe zone where I can train my range and my melee and my magic up. I decided to complete the quest Tale of the Righteous. This will unlock the teleport to right here, the graveyard of Shazian. All right, I wanna attempt to go for the Xerix Talisman here. They have a drop rate of one in 125, so my chances are pretty good. Oh, someone found me. We are not getting the Xerix Talisman today, sadly. We killed more gangsters, we got more books, and we got a hit points level. So I need to get 40 range and 20 defense as soon as possible to upgrade some gear. Oh my god. Another PvP locked hard crime and it's here. God, why is he here? Alright, I got two levels, 36 range. We're gonna leave this place. I can't trust this man, even though he's a hardcore Iron Man. He who knows, he might send a hit team. You never never know. Dude, this is a... He's pretending to be a house plank bot, but he has the stats to kill me. <gasps> Someone found me. Oh my god. They might know my location now. No way, that taverly dungeon. It, I, it might have ruined everything. Yep, if you look here, this is the taverly dungeon. That guy ran here thinking I was training at Chaos Roots. 
but I was right here so he could obviously see me. That was just unlucky, very unlucky. 38 range, two more levels. Please no one scout me here in the most random location ever. All right, here we go. 40 range, that's all we wanted. We can now upgrade to the green dehyde. And if we go to the bank, we have already purchased the green dehyde vamps. So if we look at the magic defense, from plus 18 to plus 22. Okay, it's not a major difference. It's time to get 20 defense here. We are here at experiments once again, even though we just got scouted. There we go, 45 magic, Camelot teleport unlocked. One more hit and then we're gone. There we go, 20 defense. We're done here. That's all we need, 44 combat still. Let's have a look at our upgrades. First, we got the green dehyde, the magic bonus plus 30. Then we have the mystic gloves and boots plus 34 and mystic bottoms. Wow. And we got the hard leather body as well. Plus 45 defense. Beautiful. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We successfully completed our strategy of gaining combat levels and we are now ready to take on the snake. However, you are probably wondering what the bounty is now. Well, it increased by 70 mil, then 5 mil, then 3 mil, then 40 mil, another 5 mil, another 5 mil, then 30 mil, then 25 mil, then 200 mil, another 10 mil, and the biggest bounty donated so far, 1337 mil from Camp Q. Who says he's going to take it back? And with that donation, the bounty for killing my hardcore Iron Man is now 6,760,000,000. Good luck gamers. And just before you click away from this video, I need to let you know that 44% of you watching right now haven't subscribed, so if you're one of them, make sure to subscribe right now. And if you're already subscribed, give this video a like, we need 5,000 likes. And I'll see you guys in one week.